So the man... Ali can put on, and this really is a shock for the ex-champion when the official champion, Joe Frazier, gets into the ring to receive an award. And that really was a well-kept secret there. And look at these two taking the last waltz there. Muhammad Ali and Boudini Brown, his trainer. And you watch, you'll notice Frazier won't even go over to Ali. He's just bursting his sides with laughter. What a character, this man. How can he do this when he's coming out for a fight? And even the intended victim, Floyd Patterson, there looks amused by it all. Good evening. So that's it. You can get your comfortable ringside seat with us then for Muhammad Ali and Floyd Patterson. And the usual prayer there, the Muslim prayer by Muhammad Ali, he does this before all his fights. They're both wearing white trunks, but I think they're sufficiently well known not to bother with identification. And if you're not too sure, well, the man who's 29 and a half pounds heavier, Muhammad Ali, he's the tall one of the two. So then this is the repeat match they boxed in 1965 when Ali, or then Cassius Clay, was champion of the world and he stopped Patterson in 12 rounds. Patterson's rather proud of the fact that he was still gamely on his feet at the end of that fight and wants to prove that Ali certainly did not carry him. And at 37, physically, doesn't this man Patterson look really extraordinary? 13, six and a, 13, six and a half he weighs, 188 and a half here. Jerry, we're going to go to the other mic. So now we'll find out whether Patterson, in what he describes as a peek-a-boo style, he puts his head between these high gloves, can just duck inside that long left hand this left hand that he uses almost like a Chinese torture there, Ali, to wear down the opposition. I think I'll be a bit surprised if...